Hey everybody, this is Robin from Roaming with Rover, and this is Finish It Friday, and we have a really different video today. Because, as you know, I just drove across country, we got home late last night, so I don't have a lot of finished items to show you. But what I do want to show you is what's going to be coming up in the future videos. I got home, and I had a few packages waiting for me a few so now let's remember there's miss selfie i've been gone for the better part of a year so yes i have a few packages waiting for me we're going to be doing some openings oh yes we're going to be doing some openings a few packages but let's remember i've been gone the better part of a year so these packages have been <gasps> There's Mr. Max. There's Mr. Max. These packages have been stacking up for almost a year. We did a rough count. We're looking at somewhere near 60 packages. And I still have a few more in the post office box that I have to pick up. Probably like four or five more maybe. So over the next few weeks, we're gonna be doing a lot of unboxings. Now, as far as actual Finish It Friday stuff, this is the blanket, the blue blanket I've been working on. It's still not done, but it's almost done. And I'm really, really liking the way that it's turning out. And I'll show you the yarn. This is all we have left. So however much yarn that makes this, is how long it's going to be. And this is just, isn't that pretty? I love the design on that. It is a bag of day pattern. And I think she called it the dry, dropped, something to do with that stitch, the dropped cluster or something like that. I don't know. And I'm just using your basic Red Heart, Red Heart Super Saver Ombre. And this color is deep teal. These are big skeins though. It's a 10 ounce skein has 482 yards, so nearly 500 yards. So this is gonna have nearly 1,500 yards in it when it's done. And when it's done, I'm gonna pack it up and send it back down to Texas. That's the only thing I'm working on these days because as you see, I got a bunch of stuff to unpack. Now it's not all yarn, most of it is, I'll be honest, but there's a lot of Pampered Chef stuff in there too. I am a Pampered Chef distributor so um, some of my packages are that kind of stuff. So if anybody needs any Pampered Chef, give me a holler. There's Max again. The dogs are loving having this extra big space instead of being crammed into the motorhome. They really, really like this space. Sophie, hey Miss Sophie. There's Miss Sophie. She's excited to be home too. So. We're gonna have some unboxings, absolutely have some unboxings. And see what all we got. I do know a few things. That bright yellow box, that's my knitting machine. And this box here on top, that is my mystery box from Bag O' Day that I was able to get several months ago. So yeah. We have unboxings in our future, lots and lots of them. And to be honest, I don't even know what's in most of these boxes. So it's gonna be like Christmas day for days and days and days. So that's it, a really, really short Finish It Friday. Oh, you know what I did get done this time? Let me show you. So remember the great big mess of yarn that we got from that tangled yarn, that tangled yarn thing. Look at this. I've got them all separated, all separated. I put them in baggies just to keep things from falling apart. There we go. And they are ready to use. And I have decided what I'm going to do with them. Here's another little one. This is the only one I really liked. I decided what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a, um, oh, what do you call it? Um, when you're using up all of your ends and things, I'm going to make a basket and you put two or three colors together at the same time and um, a scrap basket, that's what they call it. I'm gonna make a scrap basket out of that yarn. 
two or three colors at the same time and then that way it'll kind of make a mottled effect and it'll change the colors on these things so got that done that's the only really thing i finished this week was getting that yarn untangled and i just did that as we were driving along in the rv and it worked out really good it was a great project for while i was in there because i couldn't really count or um, do a lot of stitching but anyway that's it finish it friday this week just want to let you know i am still here i'm home i'm going to be settled getting settled i still have to unpack my whole house from when we moved and unpack and clean up the rv from living in it in the dirt and the muck for a year and so that's going to be an ongoing process so that's it for now we'll see you guys later bye bye